Hi, I am Dr. Eli Kohlberg from Unlimited Robotics, and in this lecture I will talk about diode, part 5. The total charge on each side of a PN junction must be equal and opposite to maintain a neutral charge condition around the junction. If the depletion layer region has a distance d, it therefore must penetrate into the silicon by a distance of dp for positive side, a distance of dn for the negative side giving a relationship between the two of dp times na equals to dn times nd in order to maintain charge neutrality, also called equilibrium. As the n-type material has lost electrons and the p-type has lost holes, the n-type material has become positive with respect to the p-type. Then the presence of impurity ions on both sides of the junction establish an electric field across this region with the N side at a positive voltage relative to the P side. The problem now is that the free charge requires some extra energy to overcome the barrier that now exists for it to be able to cross the depletion region junction. This electric field created by the diffusion process has created a built-in potential difference across the junction with an open circuit, also called zero bias, potential of E0 equals Vt times lan and D times Na divided by Ni squared, where E0 is zero bias junction voltage, Vt is the thermal voltage of 26 millivolts at room temperature, ND and NA are the impurity concentrations, NI is the intrinsic concentration. Be reminded that if ln Z equals Y, it means that E to the power of Y equals Z, or is the natural number, which is 2.718, to 8, etc. A suitable positive voltage for forward bias, in other name, applied between the two ends of the PN junction can supply the free electrons and holes with the extra energy. The external voltage size required to overcome this potential barrier that now exists is very much depends upon the type of the semiconductor material used and its actual temperature. Typically at room temperature, the voltage across the depletion layer for silicon is about 0.6 to 0.7 volts, and for germanium is about 0.3 to 0.35 volts. This potential barrier will always exist even if the device is not connected to any external power source as seen in diodes. The significance of this built-in potential across the junction is that it opposes the flow of both holes and electrons across the junction. That is why it is called the potential barrier. The result of this process is that the PN junction has rectifying current voltage IV characteristics, electrical contacts, which are called terminals, are fused onto either side of the semiconductor to enable electrical connections to an external circuit, the resulting electronic device is commonly called a PN junction diode or simply a diode. The effect described so far exists with no external voltage attached to the PN junction. This makes the PN junction to be in equilibrium state. Connecting a voltage source to the junction edges of, the, of type N and type P will add an energy source in order to overcome the potential barrier. The result of adding a voltage source is that the free electrons can cross the depletion layer from one side to the other. The behavior of the PN junction regarding the width of the potential barrier creates non-symmetric conduction of a device with two terminals that is known as a diode. That is for now. Thank you for being with me. I, will hope, I hope to see you next one. Bye-bye.